Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to import audio files into Adobe Animate. So let's just have our uh, Adobe Animate document open here. And before you import anything, you can basically go to the library side over here and then bring anything you want to put here, whether it's a video, audio, whatever. Just put them in this, this space. So I'm going to drag and drop my audio file in here. Let's say there's a yes, let's say there's the audio file I want. I just drag it into Adobe Animate, place it in the library. So now I have my audio file here in the library. This means I can now use it whenever I need to do it. But before I drag it into the timeline, I need it to be on a specific layer. So let me create a whole new layer for audio. Now, I'm not going to drag the file onto the timeline because it doesn't really work that way here in Adobe Animate. It's actually supposed to work on the canvas itself. So I have to drag and drop it onto the canvas. If I drop it here, it's going to give me an issue. Now you can see nothing happens on the timeline. But if you look closely, you can see that it has created some kind of orange orange dots on the frame that we have selected. This is because it actually imported the audio into the timeline, but the timeline hasn't been indicated to be long enough for the audio. So there's like the waveform being created, but it's just a very short one. So let's just extend our exposure time for the frame and it's going to show us the waveform of the audio just as we see over here so let me just undo that real quick and i'm going to press and hold f5 to extend the time now i have about three seconds which is fine so i'm just going to simply drag and drop the the audio formats audio file formats onto the canvas like this we'll make sure the layer that you need to import onto has been selected if it's not that one it's going to be like this nothing happens but make sure it's selected you just drag and drop it here and now you can see the waveform created onto the onto the this timeline yes for that layer all right yeah so now you know how to import your audio file into Adobe Animate, but there's one issue. Editing the audio file is not so easy here in Adobe Animate. So I advise that if you are going to use audio files in Adobe Animate, you prepare the audio before you do the animation. That way the audio will be the foundation of how you animate. So let's say you are animating someone saying hello. So you are going to have the audio of hello before you start the animation. That way you know when to start and when to end the lip sync. Yeah, basically that's it. And if you feel like you need to be able to move the audio from one place to the other or something, it's best you just export everything to Premiere Pro or After Effects or something before you take your time to do individual editings of the audio and then the video files. Yeah, so basically just prepare your audio before you start animation. Now, there's going to be one issue that you might face right after importing the audio because before, usually when you're using Adobe Animate for the first few days or times, especially if this is the first time you're importing audio, the property side of the audio originally is supposed to be at event which means that the audio will only play if i'm starting the video or i'm starting to play all over so if i start to play all over you hear the audio play. Whoa. Easy there, boy. but if i start all over Whoa. and i pause it's not going to play the audio again until it starts all over again and we don't want that you want to it and then we even want to be able to move the cursor or let me say the timeline thingy over the timeline 
over the waveform and hear the sound so that we can tell which part of the audio file we are hovering over. So if I select the, the waveform and then I change it to stream, stream is going to do exactly what we want. It's going to make it like we are fast forwarding the, the video that we are watching. So if I play, just like the event, it will play the whole audio. But this time, we can pause and play and we can still hear him talking, even though we've not started all over again. And the best part is we can hover the timeline, timer thing, and then we can hear him actually talking in the you can hear him actually talking in the middle of the the whole dragon of the hovering over the timeline. Yeah. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I, I hope I'm not over explaining things. So yeah, this is how we want it to be. So make sure your your setting is on for the sound is on stream, not event. Put it on stream. Alright. So since it's on stream, you can take your time and then do your lip syncing. Maybe you want to know when it's when the the audio was saying the world part, so like this part, maybe like. So at this part, you start drawing the the lip shape that you want to use for that sound, that vowel sound that you're making. Basically, that's all you have to do. You just hover over it, and then whichever part you feel like has to be animated, you just animate over here and you move on. You create a keyframe over here, but that keyframe has to be on a different layer. Remember that. This is just the audio layer, so this one will be like animation layer. And then maybe that's where you're going to create your keyframe. So let's say if it says whoa, you're gonna create a keyframe here. And then that's where you do your drawing. Let's just say this is the lips. And then maybe this would be like before you open the mouth. Something like this. I don't know if you're getting it. Yeah. I think this one needs a little bit of a in between. Alright, so when I play, you see? Exactly. So this will help you make your lip syncing animation very very good since it's going to be on the stream setting. That way nothing changes and then you can actually hear it while you're playing the audio. While you're animating you can hear exactly what you're trying to animate along with. So that's it for this video. I hope I didn't talk too much. And yeah, basically if you need any assistance if you have any questions you can just drop them in the comment section and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace